because this is the second time in about two months that Ja Morant, the star of the Memphis Grizzlies, has been seen on social media brandishing a firearm. And before he was reinstated after his suspension last time, he flew to New York, he sat down, he met with you. What did you say to him about how much more severe it would be if he did this again? Well, we, we talked directly about the consequences first before we got to a subsequent um, potential to have done something wrong. We were very focused on the misconduct that was in front of us at the time. And, and frankly, most of our conversation was about how incredibly serious the first incident was of waving you know, a firearm on, you know, on social media. And again, you know, the, and the consequences there, an eight game suspension was pretty serious and something that he, at least to me, seemed to take incredibly seriously in that time. And we spoke for a long time about not just the consequences that could have on his career, but the safety issues around it. Um, could have injured, maimed, killed himself, someone else with an act like that, and also the acknowledgement that, as you said, he's a star. I mean, he has an incredibly huge following. Yeah. And that my concern, and I thought he shared with me, that millions, if not tens of millions of kids globally would see him as having done something that was celebrating in a way. You know, that, that act of, of, of sort of, of, so of, of using a firearm in that fashion. And so I at least was left um, with the sense that he was taking this incredibly seriously. So honestly, I was shocked when I saw this weekend that video. Now, we're in the process of investigating it. Um, and we'll figure out exactly what happened to the best we can then. It's again, it's the video's a bit grainy and all that, but I'm assuming the worst, you know, and, uh, but we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure out, 